today's video, I'm going to show to you. We're going to unbox again the uh, new model of Blade GT, which is the Blade GT Plus uh, Mini Motors version. So I will show you guys. Okay, so this is the Blade GT Plus Mini Motors version. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos. I open the box so I will show you first what's in written in the carton. So it's mentioned here, carton size is 139 by 29 by 59 centimeter. Net weight is 35 kg and then the gross weight is 45 kg. So but before I remove in the box, so I will show you what is in the actual once you open the carton of Blade GT. So this is guys, um, it includes here, first of all, the manual of uh, Teberun, okay, and it includes also the tools, and then here there is a rear fender, okay, and this is the stand, CNC stand, okay, and then here, so now it's include the uh, front fender or the mud guard, okay, and here, this is the charger, okay guys, so this is a uh, 67.2 charger, so, so this is the one 67.2, 2 ampere, now let's remove in the box I will show you after I remove the box this uh, Blade GT Mini Motors version so this is uh, this is the Blade GT looks like okay so now I will show you I will turn on so basically guys this is a key ignition type okay so 64 volts and then this is the uh, mini motors display so now they upgrade into mini motors which is mini motors is a very good brand with a good quality okay so our button okay so now i will show you so this is the blade gt looks like when you turn on the lights okay so this is the mud guard already i installed and then this is free dumper Okay, this is the headlight and then this is the brake. Okay guys, this is XOD hydraulic brake steel and this one is 11 inch tubeless tire CST, CST brand. Okay, and this is the support light. Okay, and then this is the side light and then here this is the signal light left and right turn okay and hazard also and then this side okay now i will show you so from the deck so this is the rubber mat so this is removable also so if you want to remove just remove the glue or stick glue in the frame and also this is the sandpaper type and i will show you guys this the motor so this is the motor 60 volts 1500 watts motor and 11 inch tire okay and also the brake XOD brand hydraulic okay so now let's proceed with the stem so this is the stems looks like this is foldable also okay so this is adjustable stem also so if you want to adjust okay this is the uh, signal light okay so this is the headlight okay so once you press the headlight it will turn on the it will turn on the headlight and then this is a side light and then the support light and also here there is a line red line here okay both sides and once you press the signal light okay so as you can see it will blink okay and then once you press this uh, right side it will blink here and then once you press the brake 
Of course, there is a brake light also. So the maximum height in the adjustable stem is 103 mm. So this is the maximum from the deck. Okay. The width of the handlebar is up to 66 mm. Okay. And then also I will share to you I'm going to open the deck of the Blade GT Plus because this the battery of this is LG battery so let's check if the battery is legit um, 28.8 ampere LG battery and then I will also share to you the wirings of uh, this uh, Blade GT electric scooter okay so now let's open the deck of the Blade GT now I will show you the battery inside of the Blade GT plus mini motors version okay guys so so I will show you the parameters of the battery. So model is LG battery 60 volts 28.8 ampere an hour. And then nominal voltage is 60 volts with a nominal capacity of 28.8 uh, ampere an hour or 1728 watts per hour. Then working voltage is up to 43.2 volts. So this is the battery drop 43.2 and then the uh, full charge is 67.2 volts okay guys so i will read also the instructions of the battery so at least you have an idea so it's mentioned here use the battery charger specifically when recharging do not heat the battery or drop the battery into water do not reverse the positive and negative terminals do not put into the environment over 60 degrees do not short circuit battery with wire or other metal objects. Keep battery away from water. So the battery is legit a uh, 28.8 ampere LG battery. So now we will measure the size of the battery so at least you have an idea once you check your electric scooter if your electric scooter is a LG battery or Chinese battery uh, 23.4 ampere. So, so I will show you the size the length and the width of the battery of LG battery. So the size of the battery is uh, 35 mm, okay, with a width of 15 mm. So that is the size of the battery of LG battery, 28.8 ampere. And then, guys, I will show you also the uh, controller inside of this electric scooter. So at least you will see the wirings of the Blade GT so the reason why I like Blade GT is the wiring is so clean now and then this is plug and play only so easy to go fix if there is an issue Blade GT peak power is 2400 watts times 2 type B is for front controller and then type A is for rear controller and then here it's mentioned mini motors the controller so by the way guys the controller of this is um, sine wave controller take note guys in a mini motors display the mini motors display will not work into a Damao controller because the uh, program of mini motors is different compared to Damao and QSS4 version so this mini motors is specific only with the sine wave controller of Blade GT mini motors version controller. Okay, so now let's proceed with the top speed in free wheel of this uh, mini motors display. So I will show you guys. So this is the key ignition and then this is the power button. Okay. So guys to change the gear you need to press this middle button. So as you can see it changed from gear 1, gear 2, and gear 3. Okay, so now let's test the top speed in free wheel, guys. The uh, Mini Motors LG battery, 28.8 ampere. Okay, guys. So, as you can see in the display, guys, is uh, 99 kilometers per hour. So the motor is so quiet guys. So very nice. So 
So this is the one of the best upgrade of Eon Motors, which is the Mini Motors version. Let's talk about the upgrade or the changes they made to the Blade GT Plus electric scooter. So even in the Blade GT, so based on my observation, guys, I will show you. First observation I made is this. So now they added the mud guard. Okay, so at least you have a protection when you are riding in wet uh, roads or rainy season. At least your scooter will not getting too dirty. And also I will show you guys, this is the screws here. Okay, guys, the mud guard you cannot install to the uh, first generation Blade GT because the uh, swing arm holder is a uh, don't have a screw so you need to install the screw first before you install the um, mud guard of this electric scooter so as you can see this is the screws here and the uh, down okay and also guys based on my observation another upgrade they made is this the stem so as you can see guys in the stem this is much more thicker and much more bigger compared to the, the first generation blade gt okay so i think i think this is much more stable also and the last thing they upgrade is this the uh, mini motors uh finger type throttle so for me in my opinion this is uh, better than the demo so as you can see guys this is a uh, good quality okay. in my opinion this is one of the best upgrade of eon motors now the name of the company is Teverun. So this is one of the best upgrade because the common problem in the mouth display is the spring so it's easy to lose. Now I think this uh, Blade GT is a good and a high quality electric scooter. And also by the way guys the uh, Blade GT it has a TFT display so that is what we call uh, Blade GT Plus. So that is a high pulley upgrade of a blade gt version so the reason why i call this as a blade gt plus is because of the uh, battery which is the lg battery 28.8 ampere